trying to have some music going. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. We'll see. Beautiful Things by a group called Gungor. Friday. Out of chaos, life is being found. We make beautiful things out of dust. Out of chaos comes life. Morning, Fancy. Let's see if I can fade out. Let's see. No. Don't know how to fade out. I guess I just stopped. <laughs> well, good morning. It is Friday morning, so I'm, I'm happy to be here just uh, having a beautiful morning myself. Uh, just got to go on a nice little run. We're going to read about the wilderness today, just getting away to where to where there's uh, it's not, not touched by by other life and so are by human it says so wilderness so i went on a little run <laughs> that song came on in my little playlist uh you make beautiful things out of dust so that's uh, certainly words that that are encouraging this morning um and uh yeah god makes beautiful things to find our spots find our places to go um to be with him so we'll jump right into it this morning I think I get the song carry us through a couple minutes um, Friday June 12th that is today Christ in our home is the reading from Exodus the book of Exodus 4 27 to 31 and this is uh, Aaron meeting Moses in the wilderness the Lord said to Aaron go into the desert to meet Moses so he met Moses at the mountain of God and kissed him. Then Moses told Aaron everything the Lord had sent him to say, and also about the miraculous signs he had commanded him to perform. Moses and Aaron brought together all the elders of the Israelites, and Aaron told them everything the Lord had said to Moses. He also performed the signs before the people, and they believed. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them and had seen their misery, they bowed down and worshipped. Again, I... I apologize, I use a different translation sometimes, and here it says, go into the desert. But our readings from the NRSV uh, says wilderness. Those words wilderness will come up in our devotion. So, into the wilderness. The Lord said to Aaron, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. Merriam-Webster defines the word wilderness as a tract or region uncultivated and uninhabited by human activity, together with its naturally developed life community. At the start of his ministry, Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness. Moses exhorted the Israelites to remember who it was who led them through the great and terrible wilderness. God directed Aaron to meet Moses in the wilderness so that through their joint effort, the people believed. Continuing our reading, I like to walk our dog Mabel along the Homestead Trail two miles from our home, a former railroad track that is now a wooded walking and cycling path. Walking for two miles along this route, surrounded by trees, fields, and a creek, allows me to have a wilderness experience that helps clear my mind, cast off any burdens, and renew a right spirit within me, and find peace. And again, I we're here right at the beginning of this, I, I have recently been running a little bit and that's that's one of my wilderness and this morning I had the, the privilege of, jump, of running the petroglyphs and just looking out 
and seeing the city and the mountains from just a beautiful view. And so uh, my time of wilderness to do all of those things, to clear my head, to cast off any burdens, to renew our right spirit within me, and to find peace. Our prayer this morning is that, thank you, dear Lord, for those wilderness moments to hear what you wish me to know. In Jesus' name, amen. The prayer concern for this day and for every day is those discerning the calling in their lives. Hope you all have a wonderful day today. May God be with you. May you find a time of wilderness where, um, where you can just seek God's peace. All right, God's blessing on this beautiful weekend.